Happy Tuesday, guys. What's up? Welcome into an April the 4th, my 46th birthday edition of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralta. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt each and every morning. This podcast being brought to you by BetMGM. Good time to use that offer, right? New user, new year for me. You guys can jump in. BetMGM. The promo code is JUICE for a $1,000 first bet offer at BetMGM.com. Okay, so a flat night, 1-1-1. One, one Puck line for Seattle cashes. The Nashville game was 5-1. The puck line, I didn't want to bet two puck lines last night. I should have. Dallas was all over Nashville, 5-1. That pushed, and then we played. We I tried to play a position on San Diego State at plus 7.5. I ended up losing two bets on that because I pl- took them at 12, a plus 12.5 for the second for the game at halftime. Neither bet cashed. So I did not do well on either national championship game. That did not go well for me at all. I lost four bets on those two games. Not good, but the gift parlay hit for a plus 178 cash. All three gifts came in. You played all three. Woo. I think it was like a four or five to one return on that. You played all three gifts from last night. Pretty good there. And the gift for the Golden Knights, first time I've ever seen a goal at the 10.01 mark. So DraftKings has it at a goal within nine minutes and 59 seconds of the first period being elapsed. They scored it with nine minutes and 59 seconds elapsed. Incredible. One other second, and it would have been a loss. Instead, it's a win, a plus 178 parlay. So we got that right. That's huge. It makes up for that halftime loss. And we end the college basketball season officially 37 and 39, down 4.7 units. Now, while that sounds bad, I'm going to say this. I'm a little bit... I'm a little annoyed with that record only because there were three bets, more than that really, but in the tournament in particular, I made three bets to put a position down. Like I I won four units on the Creighton game. I I came in heavy on the other side because the Creighton Blue Jays, I had, you know, that 25 to one and a 30 to one ticket on the Jays to win the whole thing. So, you know, that accurate, you know, I... It's not entirely accurate. How about that? But officially it is. So how I did in college basketball season, I have to go back and check check it out. I think I wound up down like one or two units on the college basketball season, not not four or five. So I got to check out kind of how I personally went. But officially it is what it is. The record is what it is. So but like what we did with, you know, I did that with the um, uh, with the UConn. I took UConn in Iowa. I did a money line parlay with that. I've just played off some different things. I didn't cash, but I did cash some other things. So, you know, just how it goes. Officially, though, 37 and 39. Not great. Down 4.7 units. We end the college basketball season officially with a losing mark. Not great. Hopefully have a better year next year. So, I've got three bets in the NHL. I've got one bet here for the Major League Baseball uh, slate for today. I've got A three-leg money line parlay, a Bedard lay, as we call it, that's available, not officially. And then I've got a personal parlay that we can get into here in just one second. But before we do anything of the sort, we're still waiting for the name to be drawn. But when the name gets drawn for March, I will tell you, April is open now to enter into the contest to win a free year upgrade for one year to Betting Pros Premium. Very easy to do this. All you got to do is like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and comment underneath me because when you do, you could win that free upgrade to Betting Pros Premium. Whether you're looking for access to exclusive picks, top-rated player props, or custom analysis of your betting performance, Betting Pros Premium has the tools to help you cash more bets. You don't want to wait for the end of the month giveaway to happen. Sign up today at bettingpros.com slash upgrade and start betting smarter, not Harder and the Daily Juice podcast is being brought to you by Fanimal. These guys are back with their awesome tickets to be talked about and given away. If you guys are somebody who is in the ticket market, you're thinking about potentially getting involved with buying tickets, well, there's an opportunity here with Fanimal that I think you're going to want to jump on in and be a part of. Buying tickets. There's hidden fees. No one likes hidden fees. Those are horrible. Customer service is terrible. Coordinating with your fans can be really difficult. Well, Fanimal tries to solve all that for concerts, festivals, football games, baseball games, hockey games. There's no fees for any of that. The price you see is the price you pay. So we've all experienced how tough it is to coordinate with our friends going to concerts and events. You always end up having some issues with the money, getting reimbursed. If they flake out, you get stuck with the bill. Well, Fanimal's got a patented group purchasing 
option, which makes it easy to split payments with your friends or no one's left holding the bag. You don't commit until your friends do. You just pick the seats, pick how many tickets you want. You pay for yourself and you send the link to your friends when when they join the group. Everyone gets charged separately and your tickets are then secured. You can stack cash as well by inviting friends. You get 10 bucks every time someone joins your group. The next time you need tickets, go to fanimal.com. If you're on YouTube, you can see the ad and how to spell Fanimal, but it's Fan Animal or F Animal. Download the Fanimal app and use the promo code Fanimal Juice, one word, Fanimal Juice, for $20 off your first purchase. Check out Fanimal and experience more. That promo code, once again, is Fanimal Juice for $20 off your first purchase. Okay. So let's get into hockey here. I'm not going to do too big of a breakdown because I don't need to do too big of a breakdown. This is about fading bad teams and fading teams that are not in the playoff picture. The Vegas Golden Knights, big win last night on the road at Minnesota, 4-3 in the shootout. They get the win. They get the extra point. Big. They are on the road at Nashville, who just lost on the road to Dallas, 5-1. Nashville has not been officially eliminated yet, but they're eliminated. The Vegas Golden Knights, however, are very much playing for seeding here in the Western Conference. Now, Vegas is in, but Vegas has 103 points. The the Kings and the Oilers are playing tonight. The Kings were to win and take the two points. They'd be right behind the Golden Knights with 103 points, and Vegas is going to play the LA Kings very soon. 7-2-1 7-2-1 for Vegas over their last 10 games, and they're 25-7-6 on the road. Going to take that win, come to a back-to-back, take care of business here up against Nashville, who's 19-14-4 at home. They both played last night. That canceled it out. Vegas with a big win. Nashville with a demoralizing loss. It's only minus 125 on the money line. I'm taking the Vegas Golden Knights here to keep the train going in the right direction for them. They've won two in a row. Let's go three in a row now for the Golden Knights. Money line, Vegas Golden Knights at minus 125, 1.25 units down on the Vegas Golden Knights up against the Nashville Predators. Now, second bet. Seattle is currently up. Oh, and final, eight to one. We bet the puck line last night with Seattle at Arizona. They are at home, at home against Arizona. They killed the Coyotes. That was a very predictable game. Easy puck line. We got that on the puck line. Minus 120 came in easy with the one unit win. Only bet we got right last night. Seattle is on the road here tonight. Seattle against Vancouver, who is already eliminated. I, I went back and I checked this number like four times. So this is only minus 115. Like, what am I missing here with this? Because Seattle is still very much alive. Vancouver has been mathematically eliminated. They're 17, 19, and 2 at home. And then and the Kraken are 24, 10, and 4 on the road. This doesn't make any sense to me that this money line is only minus 115. Now, you could go, well, Matt, wait a minute. The Kraken on the road. Vancouver's won two of the three games. They beat them 6 to 1. The last, uh, no, no, sorry, the Kraken beat the Canucks 6-1 to one at home. Canucks beat them 6-5 to five in a shootout the last time they played in Vancouver. It's 2-1 to one right now for Vancouver. They won the first game, the second game. They lost the latest one on January 25th. But the Canucks have lost three games in a row, 6-5, 5-4, and 4-1. to one. The Kraken with a big win last night at home. Yes, they're traveling. They're on a back-to-back, and Vancouver's not on a back-to-back, but Vancouver's out of it. It's only minus 115. Give me the Kraken. Kraken to win here because the Kraken very much need to keep going. They have 90 points. Winnipeg has 89 points. Calgary has 87 points. Calgary's playing tonight. This is precarious, okay? If the Kraken were to lose and Calgary wins, they go to 89 points. Winnipeg, I don't think Winnipeg is playing tonight. Is Winnipeg playing tonight? Um, I think the Jets are off. The Jets are off. Yes, Jets are off. So they're idle. They'll play tomorrow, most likely. But talking about maybe Calgary and Winnipeg being tied only one point behind Seattle. They can't lose this game. They've got to win this game. This is a huge game. It's basically playoff games right now for Seattle. I'm going to take Seattle. Kraken on the money line. Minus 115 for 1.15 units. Realize I'm not caring about the goaltenders, by the way. Like, I, I this is more about the teams than the goalies. This is about what the teams need. 
And I do have a two-leg money line parlay that's kind of too good not to bet it. Colorado is at San Jose, okay? Colorado, again, a team that's playing. They are third right now. They haven't clinched a playoff spot, which is weird. I think if they win tonight, they clinch a playoff spot. They've got 96 points. They're two points behind the Wild right now in the Central. They are, they're going to be in the playoffs. No one's catching them. But they could get a better seed, and they could catch the Dallas Stars. They essentially could win the Central and thus play a wild card team versus playing the Wild because Colorado against the Wild is going to be a war. So you'd rather, if you, you don't want to play Dallas or Minnesota. You can avoid that if you win the Central. They're two points behind. So they're going to win tonight. On the road, up against the Sharks. The Sharks are mathematically eliminated. The Sharks are done. Sharks have got 59 points. They've actually won three games in a row, which is somewhat surprising. But the Sharks are 8, 20, and 10 at home. Okay, Colorado on the road. They are tw- uh, 24, 11, and 1. Moneyline Colorado pairing that up on a two-leg money line parlay with Toronto, who's taking on the Blue Jackets. Now, Toronto, we spent a lot of time talking about the Western Conference, but Toronto has 100 points. They're trying to stay ahead of Tampa Bay. Now, these two teams are playing. Tampa and Toronto are going to wind up playing each other, but they're still trying to keep themselves you know, ahead of the Tampa Bay Lightning, keep the ball going in the right direction. They're only 5-3-2 and two overall, but Columbus is dead. Okay, Columbus is, has, has 56 points. They're trying to get as many ping pong balls as possible to win the Bedard uh, lottery. Toronto money line. Okay. It's minus 120. I'm going to lay the 1.2 units down. Colorado money line, Toronto money line for 1.2 units. So Vegas money line, minus 125. Seattle money line, minus 115. Colorado, Toronto money line, parlay, minus 120. Now, you want even a bigger parlay? You want a plus 127 parlay? Colorado, Calgary, and Toronto. You add Calgary to this, and you've got a Bedard lay, essentially, okay? If you want to jump in with teams that are losing, intentionally losing, trying to, you know, not make the postseason and try to lose as more or try to lose as many games as possible for the points, for the ping pong balls, for the first pick in the draft. San Jose is done garbage. Chicago, done garbage. Columbus, done garbage. So you can add a third leg. I just don't like making three-leg parlays official because wonky things happen when you bet three-leg parlays. There's a big difference. You look at how the books price it. I mean, we're going from minus 120 to plus 127. It's a 40 cents, 47-cents difference, almost a half a buck difference in this. There's a reason for that, okay? The books are comfortable. They want you to lay three. Two-leg money line parlays are much more consistently hit than three-leg money line parlays. Just keep that in mind, okay? So if you, if you want it, you got Red Sox. So you got Colorado, you have Calgary and Toronto plus one twenty-seven. If you want to add it, I'm going official. Colorado and Toronto at minus one twenty for the official two-leg money line parlay. All right. Before we get to the Last play, which is a baseball play. It is my birthday. On my birthday, the Red Sox are playing the Pirates. My co-host on BVB is a Pirate fan. The Pirates won 7-6 last night. Red Sox have Nick Pavetta on the mound. Red Sox money line to bounce back. Additionally, not only are the Red Sox playing a Pennsylvania team, but the Celtics are playing a Pennsylvania team. They're playing the Sixers. I thought about making this bet official, but I can't until we find out about Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown might be out of this game. If he's out of this game with the back, it's more it'll be a personal play. If he's in, I don't know. It's a plus 260 parlay. Celtics money line, Red Sox money line. If you do it with plus two, take the points for the Celtics at plus two. They're dogs on the road at Philly. Boston's 3 0, by the way, straight up against Philadelphia this year. They love beating up on Embiid. They love it. Uh, you know, I don't know. I got to see. But I'll play it either plus two or money line. If we don't have Jalen Brown, wait for that number to climb. Take the Celtics plus the points as part of the parlay. If he plays, I think you jump in on Celtics money line for sure on that. And then I think they probably will win. But not official. But that's plus 260. That's a really nice parlay. My birthday parlay, right? My teams can't lose on my birthday, can they? So we'll jump in on that. Now, the final bet in Major League Baseball. 
The Marlins are taking on the Twins. Kenta Maheda up against Sandy Alcantara. Alcantara didn't pitch great on opening day. He was okay. Gave up three runs in a loss to the Mets. 11-1 to 1 was the final for the Twins yesterday. Yesterday in Major League Baseball, totals for the over, overs went 13-1-1. One one. Book got killed. Every over hit yesterday, okay? When that generally happens, not that every game goes under the next day, but there seems to be normally there is a little bit of a recoil, a little bit of a difference. Mejeda hasn't been bad. The total for this game is seven. It's minus 110 on either side. You can take the Marlins on the run line in the first five if you want to eliminate the bullpens, but this is where Alcantara came in last year and was the stopper. Alcantara was able to stop losing skids. The Marlins are one in four. They're one in four at home. The Twins are four and oh, four and oh on the road. The Marlins are going to be desperate for a win. They're going to let Alcantara go. The total is seven. The Marlins do not score right now. They are ice cold offensively. So far this year, they've scored three, two, two in one runs. Okay. Seven's the total. If the Twins don't get going, and the Twins have scored so far this year two, two, seven, and 11 runs, need them to go back to that 2 nothing, 2 nothing type of win situation. I can't back the Marlins to win the game, even though I think they're going to and I want them to because obviously that bet I have on the win total for the Marlins. I'm going to bet the under. Under seven, maybe a push potential here for the Twins and the Marlins. But it could be like a 4-1 win, 4-2 win for Minnesota, or maybe a 3-1 win, 3-0 win here for the Marlins. We need Sandy to go 7-plus. Get him into the seventh inning. Get him to spin a gem here to stem the tide. And if he does that, the Marlins probably win. But they've lost so many 2-1 to baseball games over the years with Alcantara on the mound. I'm just going to take the safer play, and I'm going to take the under. Twins, Marlins, under. Seven runs at minus 110. Put 1.1 units down coming up on that. All right? So, again, if you want an extra play, it's even money on the run line first five to eliminate the bullpens if you want. But I, I just I think Alcantara is going to go deep in this game. I think they, they're going to let him roll because they really need to stop this losing streak. Lost two games in a row. Only won one game so far here. One one lost one, one one, and then lost the last two, six to two. Well, lost three in a row, sorry. They've lost six two, five one, eleven one. No bueno for the Miami Marlins. By the way, just to know how I'm running right now, I was only gonna bet one baseball game today. I didn't bet it ultimately. I was only gonna bet one baseball game. I thought about betting the Red Sox over, should have, didn't bet it. I was gonna bet the Rangers and the Orioles. The only game that didn't go over, the only game that went under, Orioles and the Rangers. Just kind of where I'm running at the moment, you know, just been a bad couple of weeks. So officially Golden Knights money line minus 125 Kraken money line minus 115 Avalanche and the Maple Leafs money line parlay at minus 120 and the under seven for the Marlins and the twins here for 1.1 units. If I like something and I want to put NBA player props out, I might. Okay, there might be two NBA player props coming, but it's a pretty big card already for Tuesday. I don't know how big I want to make it, but I might come back with NBA player props. Bettingpros.com slash chat is the link to get in to the Discord channel, or there's a direct link underneath me on YouTube to come in and be a part of it. We might have it. We went one and one on the NBA player props. I don't remember my official record so far for NBA player props, but I know we're, we're up like two units so far in the NBA. So we've done fairly, we started off fairly okay in the NBA. So hopefully we'll keep that going with NBA player props. My name is Matt Peralt. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt each and every morning. It is the Daily Juice podcast being brought to you by BetMGM.